Okay, so let's run the um, let's generate files for our ref levels. So we go here and we hit up ref levels. That's the name of the database, but the name of the the um, model is to be ref level. Hit enter. Okay, so um, I'll use this opportunity to show you through the files that are generated. Now, if you've coded Laravel before, you understand that the, the HTML files for Laravel is located inside your resource folder. So this is my Laravel app, and this is resource. And the HTML files are located inside views folder that is inside resource. Now, each time I run that generator, it puts all the HTML files for any of the... Um, models inside it inside a folder named after the table in the database so we did for users that's why we have a folder called users and uh, right now we're just running for ref levels so a folder called a ref level should appear here shortly so i've refreshed i'm trying to see if it has appeared you see ref levels and it's named after the name in the database so if we click open ref level le ref levels you see that there's a create folder a create file in Laravel, you don't end files with .html. If it's a HTML file, you end it with .blade.php. You understand? So if we're looking at it, at it now, we see that there is a, um, these these things are HTML. But the most important thing you need to note in this file is guess what? There is an include. This says include reflevels.fields. So it says go to the ref levels folder. There's a file called fields.blade.php. That's a file you should include here. So let's go see the file. So we're in ref levels folder and there's fields.blade.php. If we open it, what do we see inside? We see that there's a form here that has, um, guess what? It has a name, a name field, and then a submit button. And the submit button is written save. Okay. So why are they including it here? Is because the the edit and the create pages of any website always look alike. You understand? So Laravel generator assumes that oh, since they look alike, they should use the same form. So to create a to create a new role, for instance, or a new ref level, you just need to fill in the name of the ref level. Then you click submit. To edit it, you just need to fill, uh, edit the name. Then you click submit. You see, it makes sense. So what happens is um. Um, the create file and the edit file look alike, but they don't have any content. They are just importing the content of another file called the fields. Now, this is also evident in if you're looking at the index. The index is supposed to list, show you the list of all ref levels or list of all items in the database. If you click on the index, it looks um, close to what we have here. And it just has the basic skeletal design, but then in the middle of it, it imports another table called table, another file called table. So if we go to ref level le levels table, ref levels folder, and we see table. What what is in table? Uh -huh. Now we see a for each loop. We see a full table. You see. Then we can see a for each loop, and then we see the tr and td. This is a well designed table that lists all items from database. So the reason it's removed, they are not done together, is so that I can call this table from another file. Let's say I'm going to roles to, if I want to display the list of ref levels in roles, I don't have to write HTML for it again. I just import this file using the same pattern they used to import it here, which is just include this. So it's really arranged in a very beautiful way. All right. So that's uh, the concept of folder arrangement in um in uh this um in using laravel generator all right okay so one more thing i have to mention is that at the top of every file most of the files you see that there is an something called extends layout.php and then you see this html and then at the end of, at the end of it it says um okay this says um content session content at the end of it it says end session then the rest of the HTML is inside this session. Now, what this means is that it should import the top of the file. Let's sh let me show you. It's just saying that it should make use of the file that is in layouts.app.blade. Look at layouts folder. 
app.blade and let's see what's there you see this is the normal html file you're used to this is normal html head tag so this is like the main file this is the main template file but then if you look down you will see where there is content yield content somewhere in the middle a laravel is yielding content saying that in any file in this view folder that you say um, session contents the the contents of that file will be pasted here or will be imported here you understand that's why if we go uh, back to where we were before trying to remove some of this I'm trying to clear up what I have okay um, this can really take some time okay so if we now go to ref levels for instance or roles and we say create the blade you see that it's important first of all that that main app file then it's the session the part of the file where it will insert this is called uh, the contents because somewhere here we said yield content yield content is not the only thing for instance there is yield scripts uh, you, which means it will go and look for anywhere there is um, a session script it will import the files and put here same thing when you can yield anything uh, you can just add that yield anything for instance there is yield css so if, if i want a special css if i'm on this real level page and i want a special css for this page i'll just put it under session i'll do something like this session i'll do css then i'll start writing my css files here i'll do style start writing my css at the end of the day i'll do end session at end session so that that's how it works you understand so if you understand this about laravel that means you've already understood uh, laravel uh, quite to an extent you understand so thank you very much see you in the next video